All right, welcome back everyone. My name is Pratesh here with Kaizen Crypto, bringing you another video. So I hope you guys are all doing well. Thank you all so much for joining me here today. In this video, Cardano's real competition is not who you would expect. Also, probably one of the most notable partnerships, SingularityNet collaborates with IOG to explore Cardano and AGI synergies. Very incredible to see this. We're going to be talking about all of that here in this video. So stay tuned. All right, everyone. Thank you all so much for joining me here today. So to get things started, Cardano's real competition is not who you would expect, according to the new Cardano Foundation CEO. So recently, Frederick Gregard has been brought onto the Cardano Foundation. He will be within his new role very soon. And he was giving some of his thoughts in a recent interview with Cointelegraph. And he was saying that the biggest competitors to Cardano as a blockchain technology isn't other cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin or Ethereum, but rather it's really the largest technology companies around today. So big tech companies such as Google, Amazon, Tencent, Alibaba. So big tech companies are going to be really the ones that are going to give Cardano the most run for its money. He went on to say that you don't really feel today what's actually happening on the internet, but everything that you do is being monetized. And what is being populated in front of you right now is slowly moving towards a certain direction. And he thinks that when society figures out that nothing in this world is free, they suddenly end up with the blockchain. So what's interesting about his points made in this article is that what we're seeing now with these bigger tech companies is that they almost have a sort of monopoly on things such as your data, your privacy, Everything that blockchain intends on giving back to the individual, we're seeing with big tech companies now, we are certainly giving up a lot of that privacy and a lot of those rights to our personal identity and our personal sovereignty for the sake of convenience. So I think that the real value proposition behind blockchain technology and Cardano more specifically is being able to give your privacy, your anonymity, and your sovereignty back to the individual as opposed to giving a lot of those rights up to these larger tech companies. So Gregard went on to say that blockchain technology allows for the construction of a society where an individual does not need to trade their digital sovereignty for the services provided by technology companies. In addition to liberating individuals from tech giants, Gregard feels that the mass adoption of blockchain technology may help bring the people of the world closer together. I completely agree with this. I think that from a monetary standpoint, if you think about all the different types of currencies that we have in the world, these are all national currencies. With blockchain and cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin is ubiquitous. It doesn't matter whichever country that you live in. If you use cryptocurrency or blockchain technology, chances are that you're pretty familiar with what Bitcoin is. And Cardano is intending to be this next third generation solution to help with solutions that can be implemented with blockchain technology in a secure and scalable way. So one of the last key points that he made was that he thinks that the market is super big. And if we start fighting about it, one or two companies, which technology stack are they choosing specifically to build dApps on? They're essentially missing the boat. So what we need to start looking at is the whole population and the whole economic system. So how do we build that? And I think that is entirely what Cardano is trying to do, being that it's trying to go for a global financial operating system. We have things such as governance. We've got the treasury being implemented. It's really crazy to think about, but I think that Cardano has a real fighting chance towards being the next global financial operating system. Next up, one of the biggest pieces of news that we've seen in a while, SingularityNet collaborates with IOG to explore Cardano and AGI synergies. So recently in the Wyoming Hackathon, Cardano's Charles Hoskinson sat down with Ben Gortzell. He is the CEO of SingularityNet, and they talked a lot about how blockchain can integrate with automated intelligence and provide a sort of decentralized infrastructure for AI. Really incredible to think about, because if you consider we were just talking about big tech, big tech has a real advantage as it comes to AI. And to be able to integrate something like AI in a decentralized manner, that's definitely a very challenging proposition. I think that the biggest thing that Cardano has going for it is being written in functional programming that is very secure. I think the Haskell programming language, being that it's a form of high assurance code, I think it's really going to be necessary if they're going to try and implement something like this. Within the interview, they were talking about a lot of different similarities that they had, being that both of their backgrounds with their companies are related to computer science and mathematics. Cardano's focus on academic rigor and formal methods in developing its blockchain is very closely related with the deep scientific background of the AI team at SingularityNet. 
So essentially with these two projects, SingularityNet is currently an ERC-20 token. They've got the AGI tokens on Ethereum. The issue that they're facing now is that the Ethereum network has come to a point where it's not very efficient and it's not very scalable. So it's expensive just to submit a single transaction on the Ethereum network. And we're seeing this now with these incredibly high gas fees. So what they're doing is they're looking at the ERC-20 converter on Cardano to be able to port some of these tokens onto the Cardano blockchain. Now, they're not going to be doing this all at once. This is something that they're looking at implementing. And if it's successful and if it makes sense to port all of the Ethereum tokens on SingularityNet over to Cardano, they will do so. But I think right now what they're doing is they're testing the waters to see if it's actually a viable option. So really incredible. I think that what they're trying to go for is a scalable and efficient blockchain, which is why Cardano is a prime option for something like this to be implemented. I wanted to take a look a little bit at their website. So this is singularitynet.io. It is a global AI marketplace that allows you to choose from a whole bunch of different solutions. They've got a marketplace here that allows you to choose from all these different services. If we take a look, we can go to AI marketplace and this is still in beta, but we can see that there are a lot of different services that they have available. And this is incredible. This is all built in to this website. You're able to integrate with the MetaMask plugin. So if you're interested in taking advantage of one of these services, you can pay for it directly with cryptocurrency. Really incredible. I think that if they're able to implement something like this successfully with Cardano, it's definitely going to be a long-term viable option to see AI really being brought forth in a decentralized manner. And last up, for those of you all who have stayed till the very end, thank you all so much for watching. I really do hope that you enjoyed this video today. If you did find some value from it, please be sure to drop a like for me. We saw the September Cardano development update from Aparna Jew and Tim Harrison, and they came out to give some details and updates on what was worked on throughout the months of September and what we can anticipate going forward in the month of October. So we were all looking forward to some tentative dates for the release of Gogan. However, we were not given those dates within this update. Essentially, it was a overview of what to expect coming up. So they talked quite a bit about the implementation for Gogan's release. So talking about the three stage rollout with the metadata, then there is going to be the multi-asset framework for Gogan. And then finally, there's going to be the Marlowe infrastructure to allow for toolings for these developers. So they talked a bit about that. They talked a bit about Daedalus updates and Smash servers. First, they're gonna be integrating that into Daedalus Flight before launching that on the mainnet. Also, they talked a little bit about Voltaire and the implementations we're seeing now with Project Catalyst. So they've partnered recently with the United Nations and Catalyst is going to be a way to be able to fund developers to start implementing these projects to start building dApps on Cardano. So lots of things to look forward to. I know as far as some tentative dates, we're still expecting that, but it's very exciting nonetheless to see all the progress that is being made. So guys, that is what I have for you all here today in this video. I really do hope that you enjoyed it. Again, if you haven't done so already, please be sure to drop a like for me. And if you want to stay up to date with Cardano content, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. All right, everyone, that is what I have for you all here today. Thank you all so much again, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.